HTTP is the de facto communication protocol used by web APIs. The protocol follows a client-server model, where clients communicate with servers by sending requests and waiting for responses. One of the most important properties of HTTP requests is the request method. The request method can have one of a handful of predefined values, often called the HTTP verbs. In fact, you'll often hear HTTP requests referred to by the value of their request method property. For example, requests where the request method has a value of post will often simply be called post requests. If the task of memorizing each one of these verbs and what they mean in the context of HTTP seems daunting to you, then you're in luck. Because in reality, there are really only a few of these that are actually used commonly. Let's take a look at these. The simplest and most widely used HTTP verb is get. Requests of type get or get requests are simple requests for information. Get requests should only retrieve data. They shouldn't modify any of the underlying data that they're interacting with. For example, let's imagine that we have an employee's API that we can use to interact with data about employees in our company. We would make get requests to this endpoint in order to retrieve data about employees. The next most common HTTP verb that you'll come across is post. Unlike get requests, post requests are meant to modify the state of the underlying data. Specifically, we use post to create a new resource, meaning whenever a new employee is hired by our company, we would send a post request to the employee's endpoint to add a new employee resource. The next verb we'll look at is put. Like post, put requests are meant to modify data. But instead of creating new resources, we use put requests to update an existing one. For example, we might send a put request to our employee API if an employee's job title or department has changed. Lastly, and most simply, if the HTTP request method has a value of delete, this indicates that we want to remove a record from the underlying database. Whenever an employee leaves our company, we might send a delete request to the employee API to remove the employee from our systems. These four most common HTTP verbs correspond to the four basic CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete which make up the most basic functionality that most web APIs are expected to provide. Simply by changing the HTTP request method, we can perform all of these different operations on a single API endpoint. This is why it's important to have a good understanding of request methods, so that you'll know how to use the right verb for the job.